This paper examines the maximum distance throwing task using robotic manipulators. To explore this task, three example robots are studied. A two-axis planar robot, a three-axis spatial robot, and a decoupled six-joint robot. Now the first intuition when looking at this problem might be that it's trivial. To throw an object at a maximum distance, we simply throw it 45 degrees with the maximum velocity. Now that would be true if the reference were at the robot's end effector, but the reference doesn't move with the end effector. If we take this robot as an example, the simple underhand throw doesn't even reach the floor. The simple overhand throw is not bad, but an optimized throw is even better. Now if we get back to our normal sized manipulator, a local optimization method with a random initial guess would find the global solution about half the time, which means the initial guess is very important. Now one simple way to improve this is by evaluating about 100 random guesses, choosing the best one, and optimizing from there. Now this doesn't increase the average computation time too much, but it almost guarantees finding the global solution. And it works great with all three robots. Here we can see that the optimal throw is different for each robot. The difference between the two-axis robot and the three-axis robot shows that the first joint, despite being vertical, increases the throwing distance considerably. The difference between the three-axis robot and the six-axis robot shows that the wrist, despite being small, also has a large impact on the throwing distance. These differences can be seen even though the three manipulators have the same total reach and similar dimensions. The results shown so far reflect only one of two optimization problems studied in the paper, the Release State Optimization Problem, or RSOP. This optimization only includes position and velocity constraints and doesn't consider the trajectory before or after the release of the object, so it's a theoretical, less constrained, and generally easier problem to solve. The second problem, the Kinematic Trajectory Optimization Problem, or KTOP, does consider the whole trajectory and includes constraints such as acceleration and jerk. So it's a more realistic problem with more constraints and is generally harder to solve. Now one interesting result that was demonstrated in the paper is that the solution to the first problem can be used to solve the second problem, which greatly reduces the difficulty. Again, this trick works well on all three manipulators. The last section of the paper shows that the throwing distance can be used in the design process. The two-axis robot is optimized with the workspace and the throwing capacity in mind, and the resulting design depends on if we prefer an optimal workspace or an optimal throwing capacity. Finally, a similar process is shown with the decoupled six-joint manipulator. Thanks for watching and enjoy the paper.